Hello and welcome. I'm Philip Meyer, a course developer with Google Cloud Platform, and this is a brief tutorial on using Quick Labs in this course. I'm about to show you the interactive hands-on labs platform called Quick Labs, which is part of Google Cloud. Quick Labs allows you to get practical hands-on experience with GCP and provisions you with Google account credentials so you can access the GCP console at no cost. The first step is to log into Coursera in an incognito window. Depending on your browser, it may also be called private browsing or in private browsing. Logging into Coursera from a private window ensures that you don't accidentally use your own Google account while accessing the Google Cloud Console. We don't want you to get any unexpected bills at the end of the month. Check out the links below this video for different browser support articles. Once logged into Coursera using an incognito window, return to your course and go to the lab activity page. So if prompted, you want to accept the honor code, and you might even have to enter your name. Then you want to click the Open Tool button to open the lab in a new tab. So within the new tab, you can now click Start Lab, and you want to wait until the lab running is displayed. For each lab, you will have a timer in the top right with the remaining access time. Your lab will automatically end when the timer runs out. On the left, you have the connections detail. Click Open Google Console, and then sign in with the username and password provided in the connections detail pane. So I'm going to copy the username, paste that in here. I'm also going to take the password paste it in here too. Now, Quick Labs creates a new account for you each time you launch a lab. Therefore, you need to click through the initial account setup windows. So essentially, I need to accept this. I don't need to add any recover phone number, so I can just click Done. I'm going to agree to the terms and services, and I don't need any emails. Now I can verify that I'm using the Quick Labs provided account and project within the GCP console. So up here, I see the project ID. And over here, I can see the username. And these are the same ones that I was provided with in the connections detail pane. You can also see that the timer is still running. Now, some labs track your work within the Quick Labs provided GCP project. If this is enabled, you'll see a score in the top right corner of the Quick Labs window, as you can see right here. Your score increases as objectives are met, and you can click on the score to view the individual steps to be scored. Now that I've completed the lab, I can see my score has been updated, and I'm ready to click End Lab. Once I click End Lab, the Quick Labs provided project and any resources within that project will be deleted. I can close the Quick Labs lab page, and my grade will be updated with my lab score in Coursera. That's it for this tutorial. Remember to launch Coursera in an incognito window and use the Quick Labs provided credentials to sign into the GCP console. Good luck with the labs, and enjoy the rest of this course.